In patients with chronic kidney disease, diagnosing acute myocardial infarction is much more challenging than in the general population. This is because some cardiac biomarkers act differently when renal function is impaired. So how can we use cardiac lab markers in chronic kidney disease, or CKD for short? Even in the absence of any clinical evidence of myocardial damage, troponin elevations are pretty common in patients with CKD, especially as renal impairment progresses. Today it is clear that these elevations are not caused solely by the impaired renal function and decreased renal clearance, but that chronic myocardial injury or structural heart disease also contribute to troponin elevation in these patients. Furthermore, we know that stably elevated cardiac troponin concentrations in CKD patients are associated with a poor long-term survival. Interestingly, it was observed that cardiac troponin I is less often elevated in comparison to troponin T, so some advocate the use of troponin I testing in CKD patients. However, with increasing sensitivity of tests, these differences diminish. So what should you do if you suspect your CKD patient with chronic troponin elevations of having an acute myocardial infarction? Can you still use cardiac biomarkers to diagnose an acute myocardial infarction? The good news is, yes, you can. As with diagnostic criteria for individuals with no renal impairment, troponin is the preferred marker for diagnosing myocardial infarction. And it is crucial to not rely on one single measurement but instead to use serial measurements and to interpret the changes in troponin levels. This will improve the specificity of your results. In patients with chronically elevated troponin levels at or above the upper reference limit, a greater than 20% increase in serially measured troponin is generally recommended as an acceptable threshold for an acute MI. Of course, along with the appropriate clinical presentation. What about dialysis? Does dialysis have an impact on troponin levels? There are controversial results from studies addressing this question. Although it is best to consider the timing of dialysis when interpreting your lab results, dialysis does not alter diagnostic criteria. So what are the take-home messages? First, don't ignore changes in troponin in patients with chronic kidney disease. These increased troponin levels may represent chronic myocardial damage. You should definitely check for coronary heart disease. And second, large changes require fast action. If you suspect myocardial infarction and your patient already had increased troponin levels before, check for change of more than 20% in troponin levels in serial measurements. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.